I'm going to show you how to work up toward a well-executed roll. I'm going to do a uh, turnaround move first called a reverse half cube and eight. It's kind of a 45 degree angle followed by a half roll then a sort of a loop. I'm going to do a roll without any extra input here, no corrections. You can see the aircraft point downward. It's going to be like your first attempts to roll. It's going to be accompanied by a loss of altitude and a change in attitude. It's going to end up pointing slightly downwards every time. I'm going to do it again here. Just a basic roll using ailerons with no other correction. So you'll see the aircraft in straight level flight, and then you'll see after the roll it's pointed slightly downward. Now obviously we don't want to have the airplane point down every time, so the first thing we want to try and do to fix that is to add a bit of up elevator, put the plane to a slight climb before the roll. So I'll try that here. Some up elevator, and roll. You can see kind of an arc motion. Do it again. You can safely execute rolls once you learn this little trick. Just a little bit of up elevator puts the nose in the air, and then after the roll you're back at straight and level flight. Once you practice that, you can try adding some down elevator at the midpoint. It's going to further reduce the arcing motion of the aircraft. There's another one. So you can use less up elevator when you do that. Watch the transmitter sticks here to see the down elevator command. Some down. Uh, now that we've learned how to do that, the next step is to add some rudder. The rudder can be used to keep the aircraft from changing uh, altitude during the portions of the maneuver when it's rolled sideways. It's kind of hard at first. To make it easier, we can remember that you first add rudder against the aileron command and then add it with the aileron. So for the first quarter of the roll, you'll move the rudder in the opposite direction. And then uh, the second quarter, there'll be no rudder input. And then for the third quarter, you'll move the rudder with the aileron. You're going to need to try it a few times before you get the hang of it. Here it is again. You can watch the rudder. Makes it nice and straight, very smooth roll. I wouldn't bother adding rudder input to your rolls until you have the other controls worked out. There's a lot of planes that roll nicely uh, without rudder at all, in fact. Now I'm going to use the rudder again to put the plane in the center line for a landing.